Ooh. All right, so I started a record. Ooh, Jacob. Jacob said he is having trouble getting in. Okay. Um, yeah, there he is. Doing that from the street, right? Just showed up. All right. So I think Mysteries. we're okay. yes. So was there homework from last night that was due to today? There was, unfortunately, no one uh, reminded me to put it on the hub uh, until like this uh, today around noonish. So it's up there now. Uh, we'll just have to be a day behind on that, which uh, you know is regretful, but so it goes. Um, Today's uh, lesson is really a continuation of what we were doing yesterday. Uh, at the top of the page, in fact, uh, there is this, oop, maybe if I turned on my projector, it would work a little bit better. Uh, at the top of the page, there is this reminder of those three, maybe two and a half properties from yesterday. And I'm still waiting for it to be able to switch over. Uh, it says it can, there we go. All right, so uh, these are the three or two and a half things that we learned yesterday, that if you add logs, you multiply their arguments, or if you multiply their arguments, you add the logs. I consider this to only be half a thing else. Well, if when multiplying, you add. If dividing, you subtract. That uh, seems pretty straightforward. And uh, this was the third and probably most important one, that an exponent in a log can come straight on down. So that exponent can become a coefficient. Uh, yesterday, most of our class exercise was the opposite of condense. Uh, most of our class exercises were expanding it. Uh, today, we're just doing the same thing in reverse. Uh, I'm gonna warm us up with this problem and uh, do it uh, in two steps. So the log base four of five plus, well, what can I do with a coefficient? It can become an exponent. The log base four of three squared. All right, well that is the log base four of five times three squared. Just be clear that those are all in the argument of log. And I can put those things together that is the log base four of 45. 45, that sounds right to me. Huh. And that's all there is to it. Um, I will give you guys a second or two to get ahead of me on the next couple, uh, and then I'll go, uh, I'll try to play a little catch up. That's what I got for the second one. Uh, perhaps you did it in the same number of steps. Perhaps you used fewer. Um, what do you think? Should I just try to write down the answer for part C without doing any intermediate steps? No. How did you, how did you take it from log base rad seven to just log base seven? I messed up is what I did. Thank you, good call. Um, um, Actually, on part C, there's really not a whole lot more to do than just to write down the answer. So uh, looking at it again, I don't know what else I'm going to do aside from write ln of 5x times x minus 2 over 12. I really don't know what intermediate steps I would put in there. Why is it all over 12? Why is it all over 12? Because uh, really order doesn't matter when you do these things, right? 
Couldn't I have called it natural log of X minus natural log of 12 plus natural log of five. So Got everything it. which is being subtracted is being divided. <laughs> Uh, part D, you want me to do it in, uh, in one step again? Alejandro said no last time, but it, I don't know how else I would have done part C, but part, uh, part D, I could conceivably do it in two steps. I kind of heard a roll on that one, I think from Paul, uh, was that a two steps or one step? Two. 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 All right, let's do it. So the log base three of 16 minus, how am I gonna rewrite this middle one, middle term? Log base three of m squared. Perfect, of m squared. And again, minus the log base three of n cubed this time around. And now I got the log base three of 16 as my numerator and both m squared and n cubed are in the denominator. Can you move the paper down, please? Absolutely. Is everyone drinking enough water? No. No? Mr. Reeves? That's me. What would happen if you had uh... Nice. Is it, would it be possible to have 16 over m squared over n cubed? Like, theoretically, is that even a thing? Like, what do you mean? 16 over m squared over n cubed, like that? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, theoretically, but that would be kind of on the weird side. Um, okay. Maybe if they had written it like this with a parentheses, you might have thought of that. But really, this would simplify, and the n cube would come up to the upstairs anyway. Okay. So that would be a weird final answer. Do we need the parentheses, like around 16 over m squared n? No, but they never hurt. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you'll get an answer, which is like log base 3 of x minus 2. And is that log base 3 of x minus 2? Or is that log base three of x minus two? This okay. is a little bit ambiguous. So, um, I mean, not that that would be, I don't know what else I'd be taking log base six two now, or log base three of. All right, uh, last one on this page. Uh, I'm gonna write this in one step because I feel like it. The common log of the square root of c times the square root of c plus one over the square root of D. Um, we okay with that as an answer? Because technically speaking, it's unsimplified. I never like to see a square root in the denominator, but if you're okay with it, I'm okay with it. Alejandro has a question though, yes? You can't do the square root of two C plus one, that's not a thing. Uh, I could do the square root of C squared plus C if you prefer. Still unsimplified, but equally as correct as before. Can you rationalize? You want to rationalize? I mean, was that a yes on wanting to rationalize or a no on wanting to rationalize? Does it matter? Uh, technically speaking, it would be more correct if we rationalized, but tomato, tomato. I'm not, uh, not going to split hairs over that. It's been a while since you've actually seen my face, but I still have precious few hairs to split. That's a bald joke. Thank you. Right. Calculator approximations. Uh, this is exactly what you would hope it would be. You are gonna plug these things into a calculator. Uh, I've got two different types here. I've got uh, my uh, more Savannah-esque one. Uh, calculator, cheers, Savannah. Cheers. I hit the thing with her. 
or I've got the kind of standard TI, uh, TI-30. Uh, whoop, calculator, cheers. Uh, any scientific calculator should have a log button and a natural log button. Uh, this is a log button over here and a natural log button right behind it. So all there is here is just plugging it in and remembering your rules for rounding. So uh, I'll use the blue one and I'm literally gonna write log of 90. Now I know that my answer should be relatively close to two because 90 is relatively close to 100 and the log of 100 is two. I got a 1.95. They said round to four decimal places. Hey, you know what? Let's go for two. Uh, so 1.95 sounds good to me. Okay, natural log of six. Literally writing in natural log of six. Remember that E is approximately three. So I'm asking kind of close to three to what power would equal six? Definitely more than one, definitely less than two. Uh, since E is less than three, probably you know, closer to two, I've got that 1.79. The log of 0 0.003, I love to, you know, make sure that the answer makes sense. I hate to just write down whatever the calculator says, uh, figuring that the calculator is always right. So what is the natural log of 0 0.001? N negative. Negative. Negative one. Negative yeah. one would be 0 0.1. Negative. negative two would be 0 0.01. Negative three. So negative three. Negative three. So it's somewhere in the neighborhood of negative three. Let's see, 0 0.003. And I got negative 2.5. Uh, 2.52, negative 2.52. Okay, seem legit? Mm -hmm. Okay, four to the 10th is a pretty dang big number. E to what power is the same thing as four to the 10th power? Well, probably somewhere, definitely something bigger than 10 because four to the 10th has gotta be bigger than E to the 10th. Let's just find out here, natural log of four to the 10th. And we've got 13.86. I like this. Yeah, plug into the calculator, write down what it says. Log base two of 15, it says rounding uh, the answer to four decimal places. Right, uh, so in order to do a log base two, and uh, you know, <clears throat> true, uh, true thing here, this calculator does it. This calculator does not. So <clears throat> I'm gonna do it on this calculator. Um, I'm gonna hit clear uh, the math button, I think. I don't remember exactly where it is. Uh, definitely not. Math. Let's see if we can, uh... Ah, there we go. Log base two of 15. And again, two to the fourth equals 16. So I'm gonna get something pretty close to four, a little bit lower. 3.9, can people read that? Okay, so most of you don't have this calculator. How are we gonna do it? Desmos. Not even a little bit. Look down here. Converting it to exponent. Oh. This right here. Change of base formula, that is the big deal for today. So you know, in case you haven't already called your local tattoo parlor, uh, to get this addition to all the other tattoos you should have. 
uh, you know, you can make that call momentarily. So the log base A of M, in this case, that's the log base two of 15 equals the log base B. Well, my calculator will do two different bases. Uh, it'll do the natural log. Uh, so I'll do that. It'll be the natural log of 15 over the natural log of two. So remembering what I had over here, we have that 3.9 business. That's not going anywhere. Uh, I'm going to do natural log of two divided by natural log of 15. And oops, I did it backwards, didn't I? Natural log of 15, sorry about that, divided by natural log of two. And look somehow equivalent. That says 3.9068. This says 3.9068. Seem like the same thing? All right. So that is how we get around this business. Let's prove it. What is the B in the Yeah, what is the B? B, I used E. And it doesn't matter what B you use, but your calculator will only do either the log base 10 or the log base E. So it's all the same if your calculator happened to do log base three, you could do this, but we're gonna use in general, I'll, I'll rewrite this, uh, the log base A of M. To do that on your calculator, you're gonna do the natural log of M over the natural log of uh, A. Okay. Okay. So Wait, so B, B as a number doesn't matter? Doesn't matter which number you choose, but your calculator only does logs with two different bases. So choose one of those things. And it's gonna be the same answer every time? Yep. Or the log base A of M, if you prefer, could be the common log of M over the common log of A. Oh, okay. Either one. Uh, as a mathematician, and you guys are all in this boat, you guys are all mathematicians, uh, we prefer using the common log, or excuse me, the natural log. Jeez, can't say anything about that. We prefer using the natural log. So use this one, not that one, but you'll get the same answer either way. Natural logs are good. All right. Can you quickly um, show us how you plug it into the blue calculator again? Absolutely. So I literally said M is the, uh, not the base, it is that 15. Uh, so you'll notice that it's still typed in there in the calculator. Can you read it? I didn't. I got 3.07. I don't know why. Uh, did you do natural log of 15 over 2? I did natural log of 15 over natural log of 2. Okay. You put uh, parentheses? Yeah, I would make sure that you have your parentheses. Natural log of 15. Oh, oh you finished. Okay. Let's see if we can make some sense of that, however. Uh, so going back up here, and I think Paul early on said write it as an exponential function. I think that was, that sounded, seemed like it came from Paul. So let's do that. Uh, let's say the log base two of 15 is equal to x. That is saying that two to the x equals? 15. 15. Uh, well, Whenever there is a variable in the exponent, to get it down, I take the natural log of the base. Take the natural log of both sides. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Natural log of 2 to the x equals the natural log of 15. Well, how can I rewrite the left-hand side using the rules we learned yesterday? Um, x to the natural log, x natural log two. Perfect. X natural log two equals natural log of 15. And so to get x by itself, seen as it's being multiplied by natural log of two, unmultiply it by natural log of two. In other words, divide it by natural log of two. Didn't we? Wait. Because if it's. Do you need the steps in between or could you just straight no. away? 
No, you can just do it right away. This was really just going, moving backwards and proving it. Could you also have logged both sides too? Like just I could have, 100%, 100%. So uh, let me grab a different color pen, which I think I brought down. I did. Uh, so from here, I could have said the common log or the log base four, if you happen to prefer. The common log of two to the x equals the common log of 15. Well, still, with any sort of log, be it a natural log, a common log, or a log base 74 and a third, uh, that exponent can come down. And as a final step, I'd get x equals the common log of 15 over the common log of 2. Okay, 100% the same thing. That's how the change of base formula works. Okay, well, let's flip over to the next page. They sum it up for you there at the top. And just go ahead and on your calculators, figure out what these things are. And just to be clear, I would write this as the natural log of 72 over the natural log of 4. are working on that. I'm going to take attendance real quick. All my classes this far. Uh, do people come up with uh, decimal approximations? And once again, I know it says four decimal approximations. I always go to two. I don't want to read two. So uh, what did we get for part A? 3.08. 3.08. Uh, so four to the third power is 64. 72 is just a little bit more. Seems legit to me. Uh, how about for B? I'm hoping that our answer is negative. Negative, negative. yeah. What did we get? 3.89. 3.89? 3 3.89. Almost four. Uh, three to the fourth is 81. One third to the negative fourth would also be 81. Again, seems legit. Uh, for part C? Uh, 4.39. 4.3 something? Nine. Nine, I'm hearing. Okay. Uh, square root of seven squared is, uh, is already seven. Uh, seven squared is 49. So root seven to the fourth is 49. I wouldn't want to multiply by another seven for sure. Presumably not even another rad seven. How's that feel? How do we do the uh, like the square root on this blue calculator? Fair question. Let me uh, let me show you. So uh, you can do it in one of two ways. Uh, right over x squared. 
So the inverse of x squared, where my finger is right there. Yeah. So I can do that. Or I could always do a caret, which is the up button, to the one half power. So if I were doing uh, this last one, perhaps I would write natural log of 72, end that parentheses, divided by natural log of seven to the 0.5. Okay. So that's a, it's hard to see with the glare. I'll turn off this light a little bit better. Ooh, that looks good, huh? Yeah. And enter, and it's saying 4.395. Hold on, people. Do we uh, forget the rules of rounding? Yeah, it's 4.40. 4.40, yeah. All right, careful on that stuff. Guys, you know what? We're done.